How's it going everybody? Gotta talk about the new PlayStation 5 system software update that is now available out of nowhere. It is dropping today and it is adding a bunch of new features, new accessibility features, audio and social feature enhancements, and much more. So, Sony Interactive Entertainment has released the latest software update for PlayStation 5 which adds new accessibility features and a bunch more other fixes and additions. Uh, fixes is not really the accurate term, more so updates that will create an overall more compelling experience. Let's run down all of the changes that are coming with this PlayStation 5 system software update. So first of all, PlayStation Remote Play support on additional Android devices. PlayStation Remote Play allows you to stream games from your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 console to another device, including smartphones and tablets, PCs, and Mac. And of course, the upcoming PlayStation Portal as well is a dedicated Remote Play device over the internet or through your home network. This provides you with more options to enjoy your favorite games even when you're away from the living room. Um, you know, remote play is something that's a little bit of a controversial topic these days just because, you know, PlayStation Portal people are like, why do we need this device? Remote play can be beneficial, like, for the, the biggest thing I see with remote play is certainly when you talk about people with a family, they have a wife and kids or, you know, a significant other and uh, they, their significant other wants to use the television, they want to continue gaming, their child wants to watch television or something like that and they want to continue gaming, you guys get the idea. That's like the preemptive uh, thing that I've just heard over and over again about how it's so great uh, for people like that, and uh, that's going to be very beneficial for PlayStation Portal. Obviously, Remote Play has been around for a while with the various other um, method of devices. Like, you could uh, Remote Play to your PC for a long time now, and uh, mobile devices. Starting today, the PS Remote Play app will be available on devices running Android TV OS 12. Here are the verified devices so far. Chromecast with Google TV and Bravia XR A95L. To use Remote Play on these devices, search for the PlayStation Remote Play app on your Android device. To download and install the app to learn more about Remote Play, you can visit PlayStation.com. Moving on from that, we have new voice command options, United States and UK limited release. Voice command has been improved, say, hey, PlayStation, help to activate help content. You can now navigate between help content pages using voice command, say, hey, PlayStation, what's new? And you can now check for new PlayStation 5 features and see the current PlayStation Plus monthly games lineup. Note, voice command is currently available in English for PlayStation 5 players with accounts registered to the US and the UK. And we do have new PlayStation app enhancements later this month. We'll also gradually roll out some of the new features for PlayStation app globally on iOS and Android. Just like the PlayStation 5 console updates, you'll be able to react to messages with emojis and see a preview of someone's share screen before joining the party on PlayStation app. PlayStation 5 beta features rolling out today globally, previously announced features, that were a part of the beta will also be included in this global release. New accessibility features, so you can now use a second controller for assistance. You can now assign a second controller to one account as an assist controller and use two controllers to operate your PlayStation 5 console as if you were using a single controller. This feature introduces a new way for you to enjoy games collaboratively with others or help a friend or child navigate to a particularly challenging section of a game. I actually think this is a fantastic addition, like if you guys have tried to get somebody into gaming and uh, they weren't much into gaming or they are a lapsed gamer, you can notice how much of a train wreck it can sometimes be. And uh, having a second controller, like, that's actually a pretty effective feature that, like, if you're in that situation and you know that this is an, uh, that this is an actual accessibility feature that's available to you, because I think some people are just not even going to know that this is a feature available, um, that can be pretty effective. To use the assist controller, go to settings and accessibility controllers, use second controller for assistance, and then turn on use assist controller you can use an assist controller when your main controller is a dual sense or dual sense edge wireless controller or playstation 5 supported third party controller as well Again, this is in the accessibility settings. The accessibility settings has a plethora of different settings for display and sound, screen reader, controllers, closed captions, and chat transcription as well. Next, we have system UI haptic feedback. You now have the option to turn on haptic feedback effects while navigating your PlayStation 5 with your DualSense controller, DualSense Edge controller, or PlayStation VR 2 Sense controller. When enabled, system sound effects for certain events will also be reflected physically through haptics such as moving focus, reaching the end limit of a scrollable section, checking a box, or when you receive a notification or start up a game, this optional feature enhances immersion and is particularly useful for players with some level of sight or hearing disability who appreciate the additional feedback on their inputs. To turn on this feature, you go to settings, accessibility, controllers, and then turn on haptic feedback during console navigation. 
Next up, we have support for compatible Dolby Atmos enabled audio devices, 3D audio powered by Tempest 3D Audio Tech can now be enjoyed by those who own uh, compatible Dolby Atmos enabled HDMI devices such as soundbars, TVs, or home theater system. Tempest 3D Audio Tech specifically renders to the Dolby audio device in use, including overhead channels, allowing for even greater levels of immersion in the audio scapes of PlayStation 5 games. You go to settings, sound, audio input, audio format, priority, and then you can select Dolby to uh, set, uh, select that as your priority audio device. Social fe uh, feature enhancements, party UI update. You can now invite a player into a closed party without automatically adding the player into the group or creating a new group. Additionally, the players can now send open or closed party invitations to groups instead of only individual players. You have share screen preview. When someone's sharing their screen in a party that you can join, you'll now see a preview image of their share screen even before you enter the party. That's a nice little feature that is pretty cool. Uh, that's kind of like what Discord has, so... Nice little update there. Join friends game sessions easily. You can now easily see which of your friends are in activity and you can join under the friends tab. The joinable icon will be displayed next to friends who are playing a game you can join. You can now join a friends game directly by pressing the options button and selecting join game or by selecting the join button on their profile card. Game hub tournament style. In the game hub, you can now see how many tournaments you've entered and the highest place you've achieved as well as the start time for the next tournament. You can select the tile to see the full tournament list. React to messages with emojis. You can now add react reactions to messages with emojis, which makes communicating with friends quicker and easier. That's like a very basic messaging feature. Ease of use feature, search for your game in your library. How about that? Like, this is actually kind of nice. You can now search for games within your game library. Very simple, but nice uh, quality of life improvement. Game help improvements. Game help cards have been improved in addition to in-progress activities. You can now see available, previously available, upcoming and completed activities. When a card is selected, its details are now displayed on the right side of the card, making it easier to find objectives and their corresponding hints. Discover new features. Browse useful tips for getting the most out of your PlayStation 5 and learn about the new features in the new Discover Tips section. Go to Settings, Guide, Tips, Health and Safety, and other information, and select Discover Tips to view all the tips and mute PlayStation 5 beep sound. You can now mute or adjust the volume of PS5's beep sound. I saw a lot of people excited for this, surprisingly. You just have to go to Settings, Systems, Beep Sound, and to adjust the beep sound volume, select Volume. To mute the beep sound, turn on Mute Beep Sound, and then... Lastly, and uh, one of the more notable aspects, support for larger capacity M2 SSDs. You can now use an M2 SSD with a maximum capacity of 8 terabytes, up from the previous 4 terabyte limit to expand storage space on your PlayStation 5 console. M2 SSDs must meet requirements outlined on this page. Please read the page linked in the description box. We'll leave that there, and um, you can check that out. So, there you go. A roundup of all of the features. Tons of new features rolling out with this new software update, which is live right now. Go check it out for yourself update your ps5 and then i'll uh, get back to gaming with these new quality of life improvements that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below thank you for watching and goodbye hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed do us a favor and hit the bell icon this way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video that's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day and with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.